Hi Virgo, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, welcome to your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of March 2020 and I will be using the Charms Crystal Ball and the Wildwood Tarot and the House of Shadows. Um, I hope you will enjoy this reading. There's information below the video and please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell. I do appreciate it. Please will you click. Then you can uh, find it back much easier as it will be saved in your library and when new videos go out you will be uh, notified. Um, I'm getting people saying they're not getting notified so make sure that your settings are not on private. Okay. And you can also click on the white circle here in the corner that will take you to the website and there you can follow me as well. This week I will be uploading new reviews and uh, updates and we're doing also, I'm doing also a collaboration with the Real Life Witch and that is so successful. People are following that and we've only done one session. But this week, there will be, on Wednesday, there will be a new session or episode coming. We're discussing the a Witch's Oracle deck and what do witches do? What's the difference between a witch and an aromatherapist or an aromatherapist? Things like that. Real life day things. Okay. So please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. Um, so I will be recognized, the channel will be recognized uh, by the, uh, what you call it, the alpha rhythm. Okay, um, before I start, there's also another thing, my live sessions, I've had to uh, select dates because of the collaborations with other readers as well, other channels, and that's happening on Tuesday, you could follow me on Friday. And of course, you can uh, also join me in the live sessions Monday and Friday. That will be English spoken and on Wednesday it will be Dutch. So if you can speak Dutch, then um, uh, you can join in as well. Okay, I don't, didn't look whilst I was uh, pulling out the charms, but we've got the horseshoe and that is the horseshoe and I'll show you okay that's for good luck then you've got the bird in the cage you might feel locked up Ooh, or you might feel imprisoned I don't know whether you can see the little bird perhaps like that you can see something in the cage so there you go then we've got the anchor and the anchor is very prominent and I will go into the anchor but the anchor means yes yes to a question or a situation or a question and then we've got the masculine sign okay I'm still talking about the anchor the anchor uh, means yes to a question coming home to a safe haven and you've put down your anchor so you're staying where you are and this is a little dog so there might be a pet coming into the home I couldn't get the cat uh, but there might be a pet coming into the home and you have the star the star so a wish or a goal is coming true you're in the spotlight now we're going to see what uh, Oh yes, and you've got the red bead, which is the grounding chakra, Archangel Uriel. So if you need help, ask an, uh, Archangel Uriel for help to ground you. Okay. All right, I'm going to start polishing the crystal first with my beautiful red cloth. I keep my crystal out, otherwise it would be hidden in the, crystal, in the red cloth. Did you know that th uh, if you put a crystal uh, ball or anything that's crystal that it can actually inject fire if a sun rays sh uh, shine on it? Okay, well I'm first seeing an eye here, an eye. So is somebody keeping an eye? Yes, you're in the spotlight. Somebody has an eye on you. Okay, I'm also seeing a lotus 
flower in here so love is definitely in the air and the lotus is also the uh, sign for your um, crown chakra so perhaps you are opening up your crown chakra and I'm also seeing somebody standing against a wall with flowers or a bush picking flowers in a garden I also see garden the garden you might be a meeting place a park or uh, a personal garden okay now every time I read the crystal ball changes its shape it changes uh, spectrums I also see a leaf two leaves stuck together and opening up like that I'm also seeing a pearl a pearl perhaps somebody might be buying you pearls or you are doing something with pearls It's strange what you can see, you know. Oh, and I'm seeing a letter F, a capital F. First it was a T, then it changed quickly to an F. And now a G. Okay, I'm going to note that down. I'm going to note that down. T, F, G. Okay. It won't resonate with everybody. So if it doesn't resonate with you, and I'm seeing a cat's head. I'm seeing just the two ears like that. My cat's nowhere around, so it can't be a reflection. Very pointy ears and with big, big whiskers. So we've got the dog there. So like I said, I couldn't get a cat. So you might be getting a cat, or a cat might come to your doorway. I'm also seeing a football, a football, and it's glistening. So that might be a championship or something. And I also see a stalk on its side. Stalk, okay. Well, I think that is enough of the crystal ball. Let's see what the cards are going to say for you, Virgo. Well, I didn't have a microphone. So I will say it again. You've got the moon. You've got the six of cups. You've got the knight of pentacles. You've got the eight of cups, the seven of uh stones pentacles eight of pentacles seven of pentacles sorry about that it's late at night uh you've got the star again you've got the key <clears throat> you've got the letter you've got the ship you've got an anchor also to do with the ship and you've got the scythe okay you've got the star you've got the dog a pet an animal then you've got the man, then you've got the anchor, the circle means the ring, steadfastness, partnership, and then you've got the ankh, luck is with you, the cross, the Egyptian cross, and then you've got the anchor, yes to a question, coming home to a home, uh, safe haven, and you're putting your anchor down. You might feel tied up or imprisoned, tied up or too much in your brain. Luck is on your side, you've got the horseshoe. Okay, let's get ready. Take the first card. 18 becomes a 9, so there's an ending. The moon and water on water the moon on water the moon let's just keep it to the moon you might be meeting a Pisces or no a Pisces and you might have an eye on this Pisces okay Virgo okay because the moon is a spotlight and you've got the dark side of the moon so there might be things that you don't know and you need to do more research the moon also says that you might be emotionally 
very sensitive at the moment. Um, <clears throat> Listen to your intuitiveness, your intuition, your gut feeling. If you sit quietly or you're contemplating when you're sitting quietly or meditating, then also evaluate and listen to the new ideas that come in. That is your subconscious talking to you, okay? Your spirituality and your faith might be high as well at the moment. And especially around the cusp because this week we're going into Aries okay so the, you might be going to a birthday party of a Pisces ah yes okay so there will be a full moon coming very soon so you might be feeling the sensitivity of this period the moon also shines light on your path so follow the light on that path. It's the right road, the road to the northern star. Okay? So have faith and trust yourself. And the star is just beneath it. So luck is here. And 16 becomes a 7. So there you are. You've got luck. And somebody is sitting on the star, so I think somebody has an eye on you. It is also an illuminator. It also sh shows light on <coughs> your path. Okay? You're in the spotlight. Something is being illuminated. Your wish, perhaps. Your goal. So that you might need more information to get it into action, to actually make it happen. Okay. Wow. Then we have the Six of Cups, the Six of Vessels, and that is also okay, go out into nature. Okay, sorry. There might be somebody coming back from the past bringing you a gift. You might be reminiscing about the past. Okay. It means reunion in this deck. Okay. <clears throat> then you have the key you've got 33 so that means an angel number the angels are with you okay you can open the door to positivity you can open the door to your dreams to your wishes but you have to find more information most probably perhaps your wish is to join up and reunite with a Pisces and you want to be together whoopee you can also close the door to negativity and the past so you can have that new beginning but you are balanced because 33 becomes a 6 okay then you have the knight of stone that's the knight of pentacles you could be receiving news from a young person that's a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. You will be receiving news as you've got the letter and the letter could be also official news. Okay, this could be also diplomas, contracts, uh, love news. Uh, this could also be news of a ma like a marriage certificate official documentation if you've bought a house um, but I don't think so I think it's more like you've passed your exams you've got something to completion you've got a six here although it's vessels this is stones but that is a number seven that's the overall energy okay the seven of pentacles the seven of stones and it says healing healing also is you are healing you're going through a healing but there's also an ending you have healed what you have sown you shall reap you're going on to an eight and that's the eight of stones you are getting recognition you've got skill you've sown the seeds you did the study you are healing because the study was heavy going and you're getting the official news you've passed. A nine, an ending. So it's an ending to something. 
and an ending also brings a new beginning because now after 9 comes 10 which is a 1 new beginning so definitely this could be a new beginning that has a news coming to you because these two cards are news knights and pages and the letter is news and this news could be of a new job you've got definitely recognition with this card people love your skill and how you dedicated you are to your work and it's bringing in money your creativity that could be your skills as well we've got a big whacking jellyfish you are flexible like a jellyfish okay your ships are coming in the ships were used for export import your abundance is coming in this could be long-term love an official paper marriage or this could be work a uh, job wow so go for it my darlings and you've got a 10 again you're cutting with the past you are taking your knowledge and your life experience with you that is what you've already gained but perhaps you are gaining more because when you cut grass or weed you are harvesting you are harvesting not only the straw but also the seeds so you will be able to plant this uh, sow the seeds for new plants for the next season a new beginning a new beginning so you're cutting away with things that are that are of no use to you anymore like old school books because you've passed your exams you're moving on to something new and you've just cut your uh, yourself a new path awesome now let's see whether it resonates that's the overall energy of the uh, house of shadows the Lenormand deck you've got a star you're uh, getting recognition where is it here and here your wishes and goals are coming true perhaps now you can get if your wish was a dog or another sort of pet you might be able to get the pet pet now you might be meeting a man this could be the knight of knight or page no the knight the knight of stones of pentacles and also you could be meeting a pisces this could be a man but it could also be a lady okay the cards do not really know sex or d discrimination or uh, racist so it could be a foreign person could be anybody but it could be a man with a nurturing nature okay because earth signs uh, like uh, they are well they're career orientated and then we've got the queen of uh, of uh, stones or pentacles she's mother nature and I always have to think of uh, gardens nature as mother earth so it could be a lady do you see the twist so it could be a lady that's career orientated and seeking something for long term okay but here we've got the man sign so it's prominently to be a man a knight is a man but the Pisces could be a lady or a man as well but you've definitely got a lot of earth around you so that's a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus then we've got an anchor it could be a man in the Marines it could be a man that uh, works on boats also water related Wow amazing you might feel imprisoned but after this week um, if you have sat down and taken control of your uh, of your own situation got the information you need to open the doors to carry on further perhaps you want to um, further your study and become an expert perhaps you might want to take an internship perhaps you because you've got choices I'm seeing a lot of choices you've planted a lot of seeds you definitely can open the doors and not feel imprisoned anymore the luck is on your side boom you've got the horseshoe you've got the um, star here and here that is also luck
You've got the number 33. You've got the angels. That is luck. A double number is luck. And actually, you are healing from the past. I think you are healing uh, from uh, isolating yourself. You've taken time out to sit quietly and get grounded as you've got the nine, uh, sorry, the red bead and the red bead that is the grounding chakra, okay? Archangel Uriel. You've got new beginning You've cut away, you've healed, so you're cutting away from the past. You're taking the knowledge and the wisdom and life experience with you. You have uh, matured and you know what you want and you've cut a new path for yourself. Your abundance is coming in, whether it's love or work. But you definitely are in the spotlight. You've got recognition. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Virgo, and I hope to see you in the life on Monday or Friday evenings. Super chats and super stickers are available if you've got a specific question. And please share and like this video. And if I don't see you in the life, I will see you in the next video. Please share with family and friends and give us the thumbs up or leave an other reaction below the video below. And Go and have a look at the, um, what you call it, the website, and click on this little white dot. Thank you very much. Be blessed and enjoy the week.